everybody, oh, welcome to my YouTube, I'm Jen. Today I'm going to show you um, a couple of little products that I got from a company on Amazon. Uh, the company's name is Seiya and they did send this to me to review for you. Um, but today I made these super cute little tags. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I like to do art journals, mixed media, um, and these products just turned out amazing with my um, mixed media products. So I'm definitely going to be using them more um, and I will show you the process on how I did that after this video. I'll just do a speed run through with some music so that you can check it out how I did it. Um, super cute little tags for my junk journals, art journals, however you want to call it. Um, so I absolutely love, I don't know if you can even see how cool that shimmer is on this glitter and then this has glitter as well as some crushed glass which sounds really weird I mean crafting with crushed glass but it adds such a cool effect um, and they're not sharp or anything like that so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself um, super cool yeah I already said that like five times but you get the point um, in the video I will actually show making two of each I've sent a couple off um, to one of my junk journal kits, uh, or junk journal Facebook pages, um, junk journal junkies, if you're in there. Amazing group. Um, but I just wanted you to see these. I have started a new one, uh, with my beginners admin group in Facebook, um, a junk journaling for beginners, I think is what's called. Junk journaling for beginners. Either way, I will link it below. Come join us. Check it out. I'm going to be doing a lot more junk journals, art journals in the future. Um, to go along with my mixed media, I feel like it all just blends really well together. I'm also going to be selling some of my junk journals, art journals. Um, I'm going to get better at saying that. Art slash junk journals um, is what I like to describe it as. I will be selling those on my Etsy, um, so Jen's Creative, so absolutely check me out there. There's only one on there right now, but there will absolutely be more soon. Um, but without further ado, let's check out these products and then I will show you how I created these amazing little tags. Okay, I'm super excited to show you a couple things. First up, I didn't use this one yet. <clears throat> I have used some of them. If you can tell, my voice is a little raspy. I've been really sick for the last few weeks. Um, I had a small vacation, then got super, super sick. So this has been sitting here for a little bit. Um, so I have been playing with it. I just haven't had the voice to talk to you guys. Um, so happy to be doing that finally um, for the first time in, I don't know, three weeks. Um, but first up, I'm so excited for this one. And they sent me huge jars. I mean, these aren't tiny. Look, that is bigger than my hand. It's huge jars um, of some of their products. So this first one is teeny tiny Mickey heads. How cute is that? So these are gold and red. Um, like I said, I hadn't used this one yet, so, oops, it is still sealed, or was still sealed, so check out those little Mickey heads. I'm super excited to make a Disney journal at some point, um, for myself, so absolutely excited to do that, and that is the one product I asked for specifically. I saw it on their website and said, ooh, I want that, and then just send me whatever else you want. So, what they sent me, um, was three glitters. Um, a mica powder, a uh, broken glass, and this, I guess that's four glitters. So this is also considered chunky glitter, but in my mind, it's one of its, uh, it's, it's a product on its own because of the Mickey heads. So this is the broken glass. Absolutely used this on that tag. So you will see me using that in the next, in the rest of this video, but look at how cool this is. It's not sharp. Um, definitely, obviously, be careful, but look at that glow. How pretty is that? And it is awesome for mixed media, um, uh, uh, <laughs> resin. Um, a lot of these can absolutely be used if you make tumblers. I don't do any of that. I do resin um, occasionally, so I will absolutely be using this in my resin. So this color is called... Um, <laughs> well, it says phone case making, so I bet you could do some pretty cool 3D phone case stuff. I don't see a color um, on this one specifically. 
but there's the code. I will post links to these items from Amazon um, below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so they will be affiliate um, links, but again, you probably already know this, but no cost to you, and I get a small commission. Um, I will also po post uh, Saya, the Saya products directly, but also Saya's got an Instagram page. Um, definitely check them out. They're pretty cool. Oh, so I was looking. Um, this one says wedding cards. Um, Mickey Mouse confetti. And then this one just says crushed. So that one, no color. This one is the mica powder, and I have used this. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't have a video using this because I was actually doing it just playing around. Um, but this is, I'm not sure. It's like they're white, um, but it kind of has like an iridescent to it. And the way that I use this, oh, and look, there's a super cute spoon. Um, the way I used this was actually I made my own watercolor. Um, so I simply mixed the um, mica powder, a lot of the mica powder, uh, mind you, um, with this that I got from Sketchbox. It's gum arabic, but it's a liquid gum arabic. Um, so I did a one for one ratio. Uh, let's do this. Let's demo it since we're here. I have some watercolor paper. That is white. So let me find black. Mm, I don't think this is watercolor paper, but you will get the point. Um, so this is just the white mica powder mixed with the gum arabic, and I just let it dry. Um, I filled it up twice because the first time it um, kind of caved in like it's kind of doing right now. Um, it might not be fully dry, to be honest, right now, because I just did this a couple days ago. But check this out. How cool is that? It is so bright. It is so pretty. It's got an iridescent. Um, I will put it <clears throat> over here to dry so that we can see what it looks like when it's fully dry. Um, again, I don't think this is watercolor paper, so it might not be the best way to present it, but that gives you an idea. I'll put this right here in your video. Okay. Um, so there's that. Next we have three glitters. Um, this one is a chameleon chunky glitter. Super cool. I used that on this card. See how it's multiple colors. It is a gorgeous. Um, and I also used it on this card. And I picked up some of the bigger chunks and, and put them in a line um, on some of these places just to make sure I had that. And then sprinkled the little pieces all over the place. So that is the um, Chameleon Chunky Glitter. Um, the label says Chameleon Chunky Glitter. Um, so definitely if you like this check that out on the website and look again how big this is um, it just has a little sticker but that makes this bottle very reusable if you use it up um, you can absolutely fill it with other stuff so I'm not sure how well my lighting is showing you guys this but it's super cool so super cool and the bottle does say, <clears throat> sorry, um, Chameleon Chunky Glitter. The material is PET. Um, perfect for making craft decorations such as DIY, resin crafts, acrylic painting, nail arts, tumbler, mobile phone cases, party decor, etc. Um, please tighten the cap after use to prevent accidental pouring. Make sure to tighten that. Due to the weight of chunky glitter, it will sink to the bottom in resin, so keep that in mind. It's cool that they give you a warning. So, that's that one. Now, I also have these two. I haven't played with these two yet. I absolutely will. And I'll post, pic I'll post pictures, videos, whatever, going forward. Um, this one is also a chameleon. Um, but look at that color. Um, same exact verbiage on the box and then for the label it definitely has a different number um, this one the white one is 35 this blue one's 37 um, 
and it doesn't have a color. So let's see, this color was Flamingo Opal. So let's see if there's a color on this one. Mermaid. So there you go, Flamingo, Flamingo Opal and a Mermaid. Very cool names. So, look, can you see how cool that is? Um, and this is Chameleon also, it's also the same material that PET stuff got teeny tiny glitters in there as well as the chunky so pretty it's purple blue and green so definitely check them out oops I'm making a mess um, let me show you the, the flamingo opal again real quick with this lighting it's kind of a weird lighting but I think it shows you guys what I'm trying to show you for the most part Anyways, I think you get the point. It's super cool. It's hard to show it on video. I'm definitely making a mess. <laughs> but hey, that's what glitter does, right? And I'll be finding this stuff for months. And then I also got an ultra fine glitter. This is also the PET material, for those of you that want to know. Um, it says ultra fine G. Um, but they'll probably be color on the bottle as well, so let's check that out. Um, no color on this bottle, um, but I will post, I'll try to find it and post it below for you as well. It's kind of like a rose gold color. I think that's a really cool color. They definitely sent me some super good options um, after telling them to surprise me. Oh, that's so pretty. You see that? How gorgeous is that? Um, so, one thing, um, my only comment for them is label. Label, label. I understand that you don't want to label because you want to make these reusable bottles, um, but I really like that this one tells me it's mermaid. This one, I don't know what color it is. The box doesn't technically say there is a number. Um, so you could always order more by the number, which is how I'm going to try to find it to put the links for you. Um, yeah, I think that's my only comment. Um, otherwise, I've absolutely loved using this. Here, check out this white um, for watercolor paint. That is amazing. It's mica powder, um, but I made my own watercolor paint using it. So absolutely love that love these and can't wait to make more for you guys with them so stay tuned let's sit back relax um, listen to some music as I show you my cool little tags and let me know in the comment box below what you think of this stuff um, I'm super glad that they sent it to me absolutely have loved it so thank you Saya um, and yeah I look forward to making some more Thanks for watching.